this Sunday School lesson will be for March the 4th, 2018. The title of this lesson is The Lord Will Provide. Scripture text is going to be from Genesis chapter 22, 1 through 14. Recommended text reading is Genesis chapter 22, 1 through 24. God wanted to test Abraham to determine his level of obedience. In one sense, this test must have been a supreme test of faith for Abraham since it involved Isaac, the son of promise, for whom he had waited so long. God's command to Abraham must have astounded him. Had he heard God correctly? Isaac was the miracle son God had promised to give Abraham and Sarah in their old age. The scripture text should be in the description area of this video. Starting with Genesis chapter 22 verses 1 through 8. Sometime later, God tested Abraham's faith. Abraham, God called. Yes, he replied, here I am. Take your son, your only son, yes, Isaac, whom you love so much, and go to the land of Moriah. Go and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I will show you. The next morning, Abraham got up early. He saddled his donkey and took two of his servants with him along with his son Isaac. Then he chopped wood for a fire for a burnt offering and set out for the place God had told him about. On the third day of their journey, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. Stay here with the donkey, Abraham told the servants. The boy and I will travel a little farther. We will worship there and then we will come right back. So Abraham placed the wood for the burnt offering on Isaac's shoulders while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them walked on together, Isaac turned to Abraham and said, Father, yes, my son, Abraham replied. We have fire and the wood, the boy said, but where's the sheep for the burnt offering? God will provide sheep for the burnt offering, my son, Abraham answered, and they both walked on together. Commentary for verses 1 through 8. God tested Abraham not to trip him and watch him fall, but to deepen his capacity to obey God and thus to develop his character. Just as fire refines ore to extract precious metals, God refines us through difficult circumstances. When we are tested, we can complain or we can try to see how God is stretching us to develop our character. He traveled 50 miles to Mount Moriah near the site of Jerusalem. Over the years, he had learned many tough lessons about the importance of obeying God. This time, his obedience was prompt and complete. Obeying God is often a struggle because it may mean giving up something we truly want. We should not expect our obedience to God to be easy or to come naturally. We don't know how Abraham carried the fire. Perhaps he carried a live coal or a flint to start a fire. Why did God ask Abraham to perform human sacrifice? Pagan nations practice human sacrifice but God condemned this as a terrible sin. Leviticus 20, 1 through 5. God did not want Isaac to die, but he wanted Abraham to sacrifice Isaac in his heart so it would be clear that Abraham loved God more than he loved his promised and long awaited son. God was testing Abraham. The purpose of testing is to strengthen our character and to deepen our commitment to God and his perfect timing. Through this difficult experience, Abraham strengthened his commitment to obey God. He also learned about God's ability to provide. Scripture text starting at verse 9 through 12. When they arrived at the place where God had told him to go, Abraham built an altar and arranged the wood on it. 
Then he tied his son Isaac, and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. And Abraham picked up the knife to kill his son, as a sacrifice. At that moment the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham! Yes, Abraham replied, here I am. Don't lay a hand on the boy, the angel said. Do not hurt him in any way, for now I know that you truly fear God. You have not withheld from me even your son, your only son. Reading commentary from verse 12. It is difficult to let go of what we deeply love. What could be more proper than to love your only child? Yet when we do give to God what he asks, he returns to us far more than we could dream. The spiritual benefits of his blessings far outweighs our sacrifices. Have you withheld your love, your children, or your time from him? Trust him to provide, 22.8. Scripture text from verse 13 through 18. Then Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught by its horns in a thicket. So he took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the place Yahweh Yira, which means the Lord will provide. To this day, people still use that name as a proverb. On the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Then the angel of the Lord calls again to Abraham from heaven. This is what the Lord says, Because you have obeyed me and have not withheld even your son, your only son, I swear by my own name that I will certainly bless you. I will multiply your descendants beyond number, like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will conquer the cities of their enemies, and through your descendants all the nations of the earth will be blessed, all because you have obeyed me. Reading commentary from verses 13 through 18. Notice the parallel between the ram offered on the altar as a substitute for Isaac and Christ offered on a cross as a substitute for us. Whereas God stopped Abraham from sacrificing his son, God did not spare his own son, Jesus, from dying on the cross. If Jesus had lived, the rest of humankind would have died. God sent his only son to die for us so that we can be spared from the eternal death we deserve and instead receive eternal life. John 3.16 Abraham received abundant blessings because he obeyed God. God promised to give Abraham's descendants the ability to conquer their enemies. In addition, God promised Abraham's children and grandchildren who would in turn bless the whole earth. People's lives would be changed as the result of knowing the faith of Abraham and his descendants. We often think of blessings as gifts that we will enjoy, but when God blesses us, his blessings may also overflow to others today and into eternity. Key points from this lesson. God expects us to listen for his voice and respond to his call. Following God's instructions requires planning and preparation. Faith gives you the courage to obey God and trust that he will provide. Faithful service to God requires willingness to make a sacrifice. God provides what we need to carry out his plan. We should always acknowledge God as our provider and praise him. This concludes today's lesson. Hope y'all got something out of it and y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day.